I had the home customized, not just for me, but for my three cats. Hi, I'm Aria, and this is my handmade home in Atlanta, Georgia. So what drew me to this house was the proximity to walking trails and the curb appeal, the charm that it had. It's a little 1935 bungalow and it's brick um, painted yellow. And I just immediately fell in love with it. It's 1200 square feet and it's just enough. You know, if it ever feels too small, I just start getting rid of stuff because this is, it's just right. It's just right. It's me and these animals and I love it. I love being here every day. Um, it just brings me a lot of joy. I had to describe my home in three words. I would use uh, bold, beautiful, and feminine. So I wanted my house to be really feminine after my divorce. My home didn't feel like me and I wanted to redo a lot of the space and just embrace my singleness and my femininity and I think a lot of a lot of my healing and my time post divorce has been discovering who I am and I think a lot of people who know me would find that to be a strange statement. Like, Aria knows who she is. Like, very, very secure in who she is. But I really didn't. It helped me start that self-discovery journey and um, really embrace being feminine and being soft and just being a woman. Welcome in. We are in my front entryway. The first thing you might notice is the really bold color. It's called teal motif and I absolutely love it. One of my favorite colors. I painted the walls from the baseboards all the way up to the crown molding. The ceilings are eight or nine feet high and I really wanted to make it look even taller. I don't ever grow tired of this bold color. It's very me. It's very Aria. This is my book nook, my little reading area. So I can lay here, um, pick out a book from the storage underneath, curl up with my cats. A lot of the time though, the dog is right here and he's got his head propped up on this pillow and he's barking at... <laughs> he's barking at basically nothing, I, well, I think. Um, but this bench gets a lot of use, a lot of love. I don't have a TV. I don't really watch a lot of TV. So the need to design the room around watching TV, like that, that wasn't a factor. So it, it is more open. I can bring in more seating and sit here and talk with people in addition to just, just hanging out here with my animals. I love plants. This was a gift from a coworker. She saw that I was a plant lady too, and she started just bringing me plants. But yeah, it's just another way to bring the outside in, and they're really good for keeping your air quality high and cleaning the air, and with so many animals, like that's a big priority for me. So my favorite spot in the house is actually right behind me. Um, I love sitting at the dining room table. I love sitting on that bench. That's where I do my writing. That's where I do my painting and I make jewelry. That's where I have people over, right? When people come over, we sit at that table and we eat and we talk. So this is another custom piece. It's very comfortable, custom cushions. Um, and then underneath it is a little catwalk, right? I have these little holes and they can go all the way underneath it. They spend a lot of time sleeping under there, playing under there. I think there's one hiding under there right now. A lot of the space was custom designed and built by local decorators. Um, the built-ins, they designed and they, they created them for this space and I also told them, I have cats and they're gonna use the furniture too. And I would like, you know, little little feline touches. And they were all about it. They're animal people, they loved that idea. They thought of everything. Like You lift up the, the cushion and there's a door with a hinge so I can get to a cat, right? You need to go to the vet, don't hide from me. I can grab them real easy. <laughs> These cats cannot hide from me. 
This is a special piece. This is an Art Deco cabinet I got at a local antique store. And in it, I keep a lot of treasures. I have some gifts from friends, right? Friends that I still have today and friends that are, are no longer with us. I have some weird art. Um, there's like a handmade ceramic pot and it's like a baby face. I have pictures of my grandfather and my dad. I have my best friend's ashes and pottery she made me. I just love Art Deco. I love the wood, I love all of the little ornate details, the little key that comes with it and the shelves, even the way it smells. I just, I knew I had to have it. My vision for my bedroom was an incredibly feminine space. I wanted it soft, I wanted it luxurious. I wanted to walk in there and just feel like I'm being hugged. I just wanted it girly and I wanted it a little sexy. And I really think that's exactly how it is right now. This is my bedroom. This is one of my favorite rooms in the house. Um, I've painted it uh, black amethyst. So it's really deep, it's really dark. One thing that every home needs is um, a big comfortable bed where you can just unwind and relax and it might sound a little weird, but where you can dream deeply. That is just so important to me. I have created just the perfect dream space. You know, the bed is big, the sheets are soft. Um, no animals in the room while I sleep because they walk on my hair and wake me up. <laughs> the color, the lighting, the blackout curtains. It's really this perfect space. Over here, I've got this giant woman attacking Cleveland. Uh, my sister gave me that for my birthday many years ago. I think I'm just unconsciously drawn to artwork that depicts women. I love strong feminine figures. I wanna be a strong woman and surrounding myself with that kind of iconography just helps to be reminded and to see their faces. Of course, we've gotta have Marilyn Monroe in any boudoir. It does have a very boudoir feeling in here. And that's definitely what I wanted. I wanted it to be feminine. I wanted it to be sexy. And I think it really uh, reflects who I am in a big way too. This is my earring collection. Um, most of them, me and my sister-in-law have made. We have Atlanta stuff. We've got the Fox Theater. We've got Outkast. A lot of strong female figures too. We have share earrings, right? I am a rich man. That quote is how I like to live my life. I've got this, I take care of myself and I love it. This dresser, I got it from a local artist. I do a lot of artsy things, but I just, I don't have a vision for the furniture flipping. And I think she did a really beautiful job. When I saw the purple, I just knew that was just right. It's got perfect little drawers. I can keep my gloves and stuff. I just love it. This is my little office where I work my nine to five. So what I do for a living is investigate insurance fraud. Um, it can be really exciting, but a lot of it is, it's a lot of paperwork. It's a lot of reviewing documents. And that being said, it can be a little dry. And so when I come out of my office at the end of the day, I just want to be washed over with color and vibrancy. So right behind me is Kitty City. That's what I call it. This is where my cats can get a little bit of enrichment. They like to scratch on the fabric. Uh, they like to climb up and get on the shelves, have a high perch to kind of watch what's going on. This is access to the catio. <gasps> There's a squirrel on the feeder. Come on, you wanna go outside? Go on. And they just sit out here for hours. As long as I'm willing to have the window open, they're out there. I had this vision of creating a little space for my cats to enjoy the outdoors. Living in downtown Atlanta, letting your cats outside is not an option. So in order to give them that extra enrichment, to give them some fresh air and just encourage them to be cats, 
uh, me and my ex-husband built the catio, and I am so proud of it. They love it so much. I have all kinds of bird feeders out there, and they can watch woodpeckers and hummingbirds and finches, and it's just so fun to see them out there and enjoying it. So my favorite thing in the whole house is my doll collection, and I don't really talk about it, and I don't really let people see that room. It's a little... It can be a little embarrassing, right? But these are my treasured childhood memories. I had a job at my mom's restaurant rolling silverware for a dollar an hour. I'd sit at the bar and I'd watch Nickelodeon cartoons. Um, and then at the end of the week, I'd go to the owner and say, Marty, it's payday. And he'd give me an envelope full of my little single, single dollar bills. And um, I saved and I saved and it was all <laughs> to buy to buy these dolls and to buy the clothes that went with them and their furniture and I just had in my room I had this whole little American girl world and they have uh, the books tied to them and so it wasn't just these dolls it was the stories that went with it and these books really started my love of reading every doll had six or seven books and I knew like that's what I'm reading for the month and the ones I didn't have, I'd check out from the library over and over again. Um, and the ones I do have, I have a little handwritten, I love it, and they're my little review, my little six-year-old review. Several of them, I, I wrote that in there with a little green Sharpie. I love it, yeah. Um, this is my home gym and a space for my pets. The cats follow me around everywhere. They're just very, you know, curious creatures. I have shelves over here that I have some books on, but mostly it's for the cats to get their food and keep it away from the dog. And they love to play on it. They go up and down through the holes. And they just have a great time. And also when I'm working out, they sit there and they, they watch me. They're very interested in whatever I'm doing. That's kind of been a theme throughout my life, right? Is to be strong, to be independent. This room is for my health and my vitality. And it's the place where I feel very strong. It was a very deliberate decision to make this space just mine, to make it really a reflection of me and to create a space that I can walk into and just say, I'm home. This is me and I'm home. And every little detail is, it's just perfect. It's exactly how I envisioned it. I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Handmade for more home tours like this.